Chinese rocket Long March 5B crashes near Maldives. The rocket landed at longitude 72.47 degrees east and latitude 2.65 degrees north, which placed it right next to the Maldives in the Indian Ocean. A Chinese rocket that recently launched a space station into orbit hurtled back to Earth late Saturday night in an uncontrolled descent, finally crashing into the ocean near the island nation of the Maldives early Sunday morning. It is believed that most of the debris from the rocket burnt up in the atmosphere, according to Reuters, citing Chinese state media. International reports said that the rocket would fall back to Earth by about 7 a.m. Israel time. The rocket landed at longitude 72.47 degrees east, latitude 2.65 degrees north, which would place it right next to the Maldives in the Indian Ocean. There was great uncertainty surrounding the re-entry, with experts initially not knowing where the rocket would land and how large the pieces would be upon re-entry. Israel was within the areas in which the rocket could fall, with the predicted crash sites initially ranging from Central America to New Zealand. However, most of the area, over 90%, along the predicted re-entry path was over water, so an ocean landing seemed most likely. On Sunday morning, the China Man Space Engineering Office said that the debris from the rocket would make its re-entry over a location at longitude 28.38 degrees east and latitude 34.43 degrees north, somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Footage taken by Jordanian news site Al Bawaba seemed to have shown parts of the rocket hurtling over the sky in the Middle East, specifically over Korea in Saudi Arabia. Point one Israeli claimed on social media to have seen it in the sky with visible fire and shared a video to Twitter, however, the exact details were unconfirmed. Regardless, the Aerospace Corporation had said that based on the absence of new data sets, the rocket could have re-entered earlier than expected. The data sets in question were made when the rocket passed over one of a collection of sensors. However, it seems that it had missed some of them as of late, indicating it might have re-entered earlier than initially thought. Astronomer Jonathan McDowell claimed that data indicated it likely re-entered somewhere between the Middle East and Australia, and shared several videos on social media from Oman and Haifa, the latter of which seems to be a confirmed sighting.